amphibious landings at Inchon, the defense of the Pusan perimeter, and the battle at the Chosen Reservoir. These are some of the battles that have solidified the Marine Corps' status as a fighting force to be reckoned with. As Army General Douglas S. MacArthur said, as he observed the amphibious assault from the sea at Incheon, Korea, September 15, 1950, the Navy and Marines have never shown more brightly than this morning. Camp Pendleton and its Marines would yet again shine brightly in the Korean War, despite the biting winter cold, fatigue and hunger, and a relentless enemy. So when the North Koreans invaded South Korea in 1950, the call went out for the reserves to mobilize and fill up the 1st Marine Division, and that's what happened. Uh, from all across America, reserves were mobilized. They marched down to the trains and the bus depots or, or, uh, and, and showed up here at Camp Pendleton to start forming uh, the 1st and the 7th Marines. So Camp Pendleton forms the, the forming and staging base for the Marines that went to Korea. General MacArthur's idea was to pull out of Pusan and attack at halfway up the Korean Peninsula at the town of Incheon, which is just uh, to the west of Seoul, and then seize the capital. That was successful. So successful that Seoul was liberated within about two weeks. What happened next is they turned north to chase the North Koreans back into North Korea. They went all the way to the Chinese border. The Chinese entered the war, and from there we enter the next phase, which is the, the famous Chosin campaign. Chosin campaign finds the uh, Eighth Army uh, and the, uh, uh, the First Marine Division uh, at the Chosin Reservoir. Uh, the Chinese attack uh, very, very uh, unexpectedly, large numbers of divisions, uh, and they, the Army uh, falls back and retreats. The Marines uh, hunker down, fight off the, uh, the Chinese, and then do a fighting retreat uh, all the way back to Wonsan uh, with much uh, incredible heroism. Uh, in the minus 40 degree weather, they come out with all of their uh, equipment, their dead, the wounded. And along the way, they eliminate, I think the number is uh, 10 Chinese divisions that never fight again in the Korean War and marching into Marine Corps history. Despite deteriorating logistics, communications, and command and control, the chosen reservoir marines managed to pull through. In the end, marines fight because they've got marines on their left and right that they trust with their lives. Uh, they have faith in their leaders, from the, from the leaders to the lance corporals, uh, understand what it is they're doing and why they're doing it. So when things start to come unhinged, the Lance Corporal, the Corporal, uh, can understand what they're supposed to do and use their own initiative to get the job done. All that comes down to trusting each other, good training, good equipment, and having a sense of you've been given the responsibility for the future of the Corps. You can't let them down.